Hey guys, Ru here with Night of It for Blender. This one is on behalf of Blender Bros. On Friday, which is for me today and for most of you probably tomorrow, we are dropping a massive course on trim sheets and it's going to be from A to Z, literally covering everything you need to know and probably more. Now, for those of you who don't know what trim sheets are, it's for you. For those of you who know what trim sheets are, it's also for you. It's literally for everyone because like I said, we're covering everything. So you got modeling of trim sheets, detailed tutorial on modeling trim sheets. You got detailed tutorial on modeling a modular environment, which you see on the screen right now. You got the tutorial on how to texture it, how to render it, and how to post process it in Photoshop. Okay, so that's one. Then you're receiving six plus one trim sheets so six is the basic package and the seventh trim sheet is going to be an early bonus early bird bonus uh, trim sheet and i really highly recommend you get it the early bird period starts on friday and ends on sunday and trim sheet seven is very special i'll go back to it in a minute so you got six trim sheets plus one so total seven and they doubled meaning uh you're getting them non-textured and textured so you got blank trim sheets which you can use just like you would use the example trim sheet from decal machine so you can assign bsdf mods to them in blender but you get also a texture sheet in quixel mixer uh, i mean six seven of them and they consistent in terms of uh, design so i'm using the same materials for all of them so you can create an environment using seven different trim sheets Trim sheet six comes in a in a um, double texturing, so you got two different types of texturing on it just for fun. So you're getting actually 15 trims uh, in total to play with. In addition to all this, you got Unreal Engine stuff covered. How to bring the environment into Unreal Engine, how to texture it with trim sheets. So this stuff is covered. You got the vanilla stuff covered as well. So we didn't just discuss the decal machine side and how to use these trim sheets with decal machine, but also showing you how to do this with vanilla blender. So if you don't have a decal machine, you can still benefit from it. And we show you how to apply trim sheets to your objects. Um, in Blender without using any add-ons. Now, I'm using hard ups and box cutter and machine tools, which is free, by the way, for modeling, but the modeling is not difficult, and I'm using screencast keys so you can easily follow along. And if you're a vanilla Blender user and you have the basics of modeling, you know, kind of sorted, you can easily follow along because modeling itself is not difficult. It's the design that's actually uh, quite, you know, when I'm explaining the tricks and tips regarding creating trim sheets, that's where the knowledge is. And the environment, modular environment, is super easy to create um, in terms of modeling. But uh, there are also a, a very interesting tips and tricks um, regarding how to create these pieces to make them fit together and to make it easy to readjust a, a corridor on the fly. Because if I if I show you here, you can see that these the you know all these pieces here they modular and then can be swapped around. This course is immense. It's about ten hours plus of content. Um, you have the bonus features which are very important and let me tell you the bonus features are essential so I really suggest you get this before the early bird bonus expires because trim sheet 7 is a very special trim sheet okay it contains floating decals standalone decals which you can use not just like a tileable panels but also as a standalone decals okay there are four additional videos for it and I'm, i'll show you how to actually create this trim sheet and the creation of floating decals it's a little bit different and it's not covered by the documentation i think uh, in machine because the machine created for decal machine because I checked and I couldn't find it, so I had to piece, uh, you know, piece this um, uh, this puzzle together myself. And um, in addition to the ID map, that I'm making I'm making three additional map for the for the floating decals. So I show how to bake all the maps. You're getting all the maps with the trim sheets as well. So if you want to. Uh, for example, texture them yourself. You can, not a problem. So you're getting the texture version and non-texture version, so you can play with it. And like I said, you get all the maps, so you can bring them to um, either texturing software or you can bring them to Unreal. I also added the RMA maps, which is a roughness, ambient occlusion, and metalness combined maps, so you can bring this thing 
directly into um, Unreal Engine. Um, and you can play with it there. So each of these seven trim sheets has maps ready to go to Unreal Engine. So if you want to create some game asset or like a game environment, you can do it. You can use these trims, no problem. So the course is just incredibly packed with information and the A to Z name is very accurate because it literally covers from the cube to, to a game engine so everything is there okay uh, the trailer for the course drops tomorrow so you know hope you're gonna have fun watching it we had a lot of fun creating this course for you guys as usual um, I love trim sheets they're just incredibly powerful just to give you an example uh, fixing this corridor and let me show you the the blend the blend version this is actually the geo and going from this okay to this right it took me 30 minutes all right so that's how powerful trim sheets are so anyway guys hope to see you in the course thanks for watching catch you next one